If Osu had a keyboard hall of fame, the HyperX Alloy Origins would definitely be present there. Up until recently, the keyboard was a fan favorite for the likes of White Cat, Emrek, Ryuke, Mathy, Aeterna, and many more top players. But why? Well, that's what I'll look at in this video. Let's begin with the unboxing experience. The keyboard comes in a pretty simple box, nothing special. You get the keyboard itself wrapped in a piece of plastic, manuals, and obviously the cable that you'll use to connect the keyboard to your computer. The keyboard has three height settings, a nearly flat one, a middle setting, and the highest setting. In my opinion, the middle setting is the best one, because on the highest one, it feels like I'm going to kill my wrists in a couple of minutes, and the flat one is just a bit too uncomfortable. The keyboard itself has ABS keycaps, which honestly, I don't mind. I have the pudding keycaps, but I prefer the looks and the feel of the default keycaps the keyboard comes with. I think the keycaps the keyboard comes with are not any typical ABS keycaps. They don't feel super cheap, they have yet to shine in the 4 months of me using the keyboard, and typing with them genuinely feels pretty nice. This is my most used key, the one I use for Osu, as you can see it has no shine to it. If it were a regular ABS keycap, you could see like an oily surface. My old HyperX keyboard had that, but I don't have those keys on hand right now, so I can't show you. And this is the other side of the keycap. You can see the letter V pretty easily, which means the RGB does shine nicely through the keycaps. And as you can see, that is quite apparent when you use the keyboard. You can customize the lighting in the HyperX software Ingenuity. At first, it was a bit confusing to use the software, but after some tinkering, it became very fun to play around with the settings. What I like most about this software is that you can not only save your presets, but you can also download other people's presets. This can help you get a really cool lighting design for which you have to put in little to no effort by just downloading the preset and opening it up in the software. And here's like a little collection I've made of presets I've downloaded on the internet. The keyboard is goddamn solid. It has little to no flex, it features a matted aluminium body, so it won't catch fingerprints easily and will only be covered in dust. Quick side note, I was reading an article about this keyboard and the writer had this to say about the keyboard's sturdiness. The case is made of artifact grade aluminium. It is matte black on the top plate and base. It is sturdy and has a hefty weight to it. Despite this, it's still extremely portable just throw it in your backpack. If someone is breaking into your home, you can probably grab this keyboard, disconnect it really quick, and slap the criminal with your keyboard's base. It will sustain it. Yeah, basically the keyboard is very solid and is built very well. Now, let's talk about what makes the keyboard so good and likable by countless Osu players. The switches. The keyboard features a special kind of switch that is present only in a couple of HyperX keyboards. But what makes this switch so special? It looks and functions like a typical red switch that you'd find in countless gaming keyboards. Well, for starters, it has a lower actuation point, meaning it takes less distance to actuate the key. The travel distance is shorter. And although HyperX themselves say the switch has a 45 gram actuation force, which is the standard for red switches, the HyperX reds feel a tad bit lighter. It may just be placebo, since I'm comparing to my old keyboard and past experiences with red switches, which is a bit limited. But these HyperX reds definitely do feel much nicer and lighter, and in my opinion, they sound a bit better than your typical red switches. Now that I've covered the keyboard, I'll give you a quick clip of me typing on it.
Now, for you Osu gamers, this will be the part which will be most important to you. How the keyboard feels in-game. When I first got the keyboard, I didn't know what to expect, but to say that what little expectations I had were blown by Miles would be an understatement. When I got the keyboard, I hadn't played Osu in a good while, but even then, I beat my scores with little to no effort and warm-up, setting a new top play in under an hour. But the biggest difference that I had was in Mania, improving my scores by a bit. Well, how much? 1%? 2? No, how about 4%? If you know anything about Mania, improving your score by 4% is insane. This sort of a difference doesn't come without practice, but I guess you can skip a couple of lessons and practice sessions if you get the HyperX Origins keyboard. Okay, okay, I am exaggerating there a bit. A piece of peripheral will not make you a better player without any practice. While a new keyboard or a tablet or monitor can help you become a better player quicker, it won't happen immediately. Great examples of people who have used not so good equipment and have become insane at the game are obviously FG Sky, and Savitar. I think I just feel a lot more comfortable playing on the keyboard. It feels much nicer than my previous one, which is why I was able to improve in Standard and in Mania. But even then, I still think the switches and the board overall is a great choice for those who don't have the money for a higher-end keyboard, but still want a great board for gaming in general, and Osu of course. It definitely, in my opinion, does live up to the Osu player hype, and I've enjoyed my time with it a lot. And considering the keyboard goes for around 80 to 90 bucks, it is a good investment for those looking at an entry board for gaming and casual use. Thank you for watching. This video was not sponsored. I paid for the keyboard myself, and these were my honest thoughts. Subscribe or not to subscribe, it's your choice.